According to John Park, director of the Korea Working Group at Harvard Kennedy School, the lack of a consistent message is undermining confidence in the Trump administration among allies. True to form, some of Trump's less radical advisors such as Gary D. Cohn, chairman of the National Economic Council have weighed in to say the strategic ramifications of nixing the South Korea trade deal would cancel out any potential gains. You have the President of the United States tweeting out something and members of his national security team very quickly dialing it back, or adding nuances or conditions to it, says Park. In the beginning it was reassuring, to see that dialing back, but now given the intensity of those dual messages there are a lot of question marks in Seoul. There is also uncertainty in Beijing, which received both praise and censure from Trump through Twitter. While the president initially seemed to thank China with one tweet, saying that Beijing is trying to help but with little success, four and a half hours later he posted another, the United States is considering, in addition to other options, stopping all trade with any country doing business with North Korea. That undoubtedly refers to China which is responsible for 90% of North Korean trade across the 880-mile shared frontier. But China is also the U.S.'s largest trading partner, selling $463 billion worth of goods to American consumers last year. Cutting off trade with Beijing would undoubtedly spark a protectionist trade war that would likely cause a global recession. Ian Bremmer, president of the Eurasia Group Global Political Risk Research and Consulting Firm, and Time columnist, called it, the least credible policy threat made by Trump since assuming the presidency. However, threatening to end all Sino-US trade doesn't inspire the necessary confidence for Beijing to take the very hard steps that could really hamper Pyongyang's nuclear program, such as breaking up the shadowy cross-border business cartels that are a principal source of the regime's foreign revenue. Because, for Trump, while it may be beneficial to keep enemies guessing as to your true intentions, the reverse is true for allies. The close coordination, the secret dialogue, the secret negotiation, that doesn't exist right now, says Park, the confusion aspect is quite dangerous.